nice. These new Premier Amel carburetors look awesome, don't they? They're excellent. I've just taken the banjo fitting off for now. I think the new fuel pipes come with those, but I'll see when they arrive. And this is already set up with a, a choke as well. So I'm assuming there's a choke assembly inside. I'll just double check that out. The bike didn't come with a choke, so I'll just plug these for now and until I find that it needs a choke. Yeah, this is lovely. Beautiful new parts. These are the new throttle valves. I believe these are anodized, I'm not sure. Or composite, I'm not sure what this is. I'm just going to leave everything else as it is. The tickler's modified as well. We've got a real nice, longer, more substantial tickler. Switching to the front end now, and I've turned the bike around on the lift. Uh, I'm going to remove the front wheel. I need to replace this tyre. It it's, looks like it's brand new, but it's 20 years old, so that's got to go. I've also got a new tube, because this doesn't seem to be holding air. Um, I've also bought some wheel bearings as well. It, it's a little rough when it turns, so I'm going to replace the wheel bearings. The offset also needs to be fixed as well, and my friend Dick has kindly agreed to help with the rim offset to move it over so that it's centred in the middle of the forks. I've also got new dust covers here. Um, these are, oh, they look okay, but they're pretty hard, and this one here is split as well and then we'll move further up the forks there's some work that I need to do at the top end with the handlebars and some other assemblies up here so this is the next step this wheel is just loosely fitted I took it off when it was down at Jeff's and what we did notice is this stud here it's got the wrong nut on instead of being what a half inch standard someone's put a Whit Whitworth nut on it and uh, it's locked onto the stud like a lock nut and so the stud comes out as well fortunately the threads still good but it comes out like a bolt I like these air scoops very much they're very cool this is called the conical hub and I think it's affectionately referred to as the comical hub because it wasn't that strong. But we'll see. I'm sure it's miles better than a lot of my older bikes. I've just put this 2x4 underneath the wheel just to support it while I remove the wheel.
I'm starting to take the front end apart now and I've removed the handlebar grips and the switches and next is to remove the handlebars. The handlebars are actually bent so I've got a nice new pair of handlebars to go on. Um, I'm going to clean up this these bolts, this hardware around here, probably put them in the ultrasonic cleaner and you may know as well that on these models they have the rubber mounted handlebars which I don't particularly like actually and so I've got the little kit that replaces these rubber mounted sleeves inside here. It just makes the handlebars hard and yes I do know that they'll vibrate more but I prefer that. I'm just going to use this arrangement to see if I can draw these rubber mounted bushings out of the handlebar holders. So essentially just a bolt with a 10 millimeter socket on the end and that goes from underneath. That will actually pass through here and then put a large socket on the top, a washer, a lock nut and then as we tighten this up it should hopefully draw the 10 millimeter socket up through the hole and essentially push out or press out the bushing. Feels like something's moving. Okay, that's working.
This next job is to replace this breather pipe section here. It's actually split on the other side. I've taken the hardware off the clamps here. They've been in the ultrasonic cleaner and they're a lot cleaner. And uh, also it's a little short as well. Um, as I work this here, uh, it's probably shrunk a little bit, I guess, and it's got super hard over time. So you can buy the replacement pieces and they are much longer as well. So I'll cut this to shape and size so that we allow a little bit more size here, a little more length so that it should fit into this T-junction here. I've already taken this off before. I clean this up as well, this junction, but yeah, this is where it's split. And I could, I'm sure, put a clamp around it, but it's got super hard and brittle, so I'm gonna throw that away. So I'll just do a little test fit. Actually a bit more, I think. Maybe there. And we'll come back if needed. Just making sure I get the shape right of the cut. Yeah, it's definitely a little longer. I'm gonna cut it a little longer. It's almost, I think it's probably more than an inch. I'm gonna cut it parallel to this. And so these are shears that I use with the sprinkler system in the garden. Nice clean cut. 